it was drama today at Lekki Gate as the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolu was petted with water bottles as he tried to address youth protesters who had blocked the Lekki Gate and had thousands of commuters hostage, according to a Twitter user who was on ground when the Lagos Governor addressed the protesters. The governor was met with hostility. Before the governor began to address the protesters, there were chants of shame, 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 shame at the governor who could not even start his speech. It was thereafter that when he tried to address the young protesters, that one Twitter user with user name at Mr. Baklava reported that the protesters began to throw water and water bottles at the governor, according to him. They are pouring him water. They are throwing water bottles at the governor. It's mad, okay? The protesters had warned that they would channel their attention to the Lekki Gate that leads most of the island environs to the Lagos mainland. True to their word, as at 7 o'clock this morning, protesters had already stationed there and consequently blocked the Lekki Gate. This necessitated the Lagos governor to come out and address the protesters to try to quell the whole situation. It is ironic that the governor had previously refused to come out and address the protesters as they had demanded. He only came out when the Lake Ito gate was under siege by the protesters. Protesters chant shame, shame, shame as the governor tries to address them. You see? He never came out when we protested at his gate. He only came out because of the revenue coming from toll gate, Jagaban's puppets. So many persons have accused the Lagos governor of only caring about his, about his and the government's investment, saying that he only came out because the Lekki toll gates, which account for a substantial amount of the state revenue, was not working as a result of it, it being blocked by protesters. The protesters have been protesting for days now and are asking for SARS to be brought to the to an end and for the government to put an end to police brutality by instituting reforms that would work to that effect. You see, they think they you know these people they think they are very, very wise, they think they are very, very smart. You can imagine people have been protesting, expecting him to come out, but he couldn't come out. But because Something is coming out from that area <laughs> because he knows that that place is the engine room of the state or one of the engine rooms of the state. He now came out. He wants to douse the tension. We have been saying it. When you don't handle little, little things, you think, oh, it does not matter. How huh? Nigerians are too docile. We have been able to, we have been able to get them. They can't talk. You know, there's less division among them. And that's why they bring all manner of sentiments so that they'll divide the people the more. But I only say it. Monkey go go market. You know, go come back home. They think that people don't know what is happening, just that everybody is just occupied with the problems they've created for the people themselves. People are a lot of people are people are faced with a lot of challenges. And that's why you see that those are the tools that they have used to continue to debar people from coming out. Of course, even people still want to come out, they will be using the same police to intimidate them. You are coming out because uh, something is going to be coming out from that particular angle. You see, you think people will not know. People will know, but when he knows that he knows that uh, that thing is going to affect the revenue, he came. He quickly came. He, he came out to come and do or to address them, to tell them the same story upon story upon story upon story. Since this man came on board, what tangible thing can the Lagosian Lagosians pinpoint? Even when they were complaining during Ambode and by this time, of course, oh, they will tell you oh, it was because of a uh, COVID nineteen. You know, they could not even assess him for after one year in office but that is inconsequential because i always believe that before you say you want to go into an election you already know the problem so it's not supposed to be a case of a oh i didn't know what was inside i didn't know what uh, what was going on before until when i got there because those are the things that they used in campaigning that oh we already know the problem of the uh, the problem the masses are faced with then we have to do it this way we have to go about it this way but when you come there you now begin to draw like okra you begin to crawl like snake, as if you don't know what you need to do. For somebody who has been has been able to see the problem in government, as you come in, you kick you you know you kick the ground running, you hit the ground running rather. But now they will tell you, hey, we are taking our time. Hi, you are coming out again to address the people. The same story every day. But see what is happening again in Surulere. See what is happening in Surulere.
Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We said it. If you don't take care of those little little things, by the time big one begins to come out, you'll not be able to handle it. They will not be able to handle it. I hope uh, this thing will not take a, a different dimension. I hope uh, all of them, before you know it, uh, they will start running away from the country. Of course, they've all, all they all have their whatever intact. Yet some youths are still voting APC in Nondo State. Nigeria will be delivered from APC government by God's power. Mm. Is PDP better? It's worse than APC. I bet forget. Okay, of course, all of them are the same. Uh -huh. The devil is at work. People protesting need to be careful. This situation is now losing its real meaning. Uh -huh, because they, they fail to do the, the right thing. They fail to do the right thing. They fail to face the problem when it's coming gradually when it was coming out gradually they they refuse to to do it it's just like a when there's a, a portal or a particular spot if you don't deal with it before you know it will escalate and that is one of the things they do they will allow it to escalate so that they will be able to quote quote uh, another uh to make budget for that and even if they make budget for that they will still do a substance a substandard uh, work there so that after like six or whatever many months again the problem will come up so the problem they've been tackling uh, in this country or in this state or in Lagos State, in the country generally, they don't do a, a solid job. They always do substandard job. But when it comes to their welfare, it's always on point. It's always first-class welfare, you know, give themselves first-class services. But what do they give to the people? The same story. Like I said before now, if they had done the reform, as a, you know, the way they promised it as a 2017, 2018, I'm sure these problems will not be experiencing them at all. Won't be experiencing them. But in as much as they want to continue to do shabby work, all of these things that they are doing is to see come and haunt them in one way or the other. And it has started already, unless they do the right thing. And they should begin to, they begin to see the handwriting on the wall because, you know, there are some things that you will not be able to cover up because this thing is, is, is getting out of hand. And, Unfortunately for them, the old world is watching and the old world, you know, gradually they will begin to be protesting on behalf of Nigerians. That's just the way it is. So, like they always say, a word is enough for the wise. For how long are you going to be deceiving the people? The man is coming out now to do what, but see what they were doing to him. Because they, they, they all know what this, uh, these people are up to. People know what they are up to. If people don't want to talk, if they are not taking action, that does not mean that they don't know. Uh, they are right from their left, but because Nigerians can really endure. That's why these people are taking us for granted. So guys, let's say your opinion. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this.